Hello there young lad and welcome to Micro High. What's your name? I'm St. Charlie sir. Glad to meet you St. Charlie. Are you ready for your first day of high school? Yeah. I'm so ready to start. I'm glad to hear it. You know Ellie, I'd forgotten we had this video of our first day. I'd even forgotten I'd dyed my hair blonde. You were an impressionable lad. Hush now, I'm about to come on. And hello to you too, young miss. And what is your name? I'm Elitheria and this is all capitalistic bullshit. Well I'm not perfect. Well, land to sure. Can you believe it's all over? Well, graduation's never an easy thing to go through, sir. You should know that. You've been here since the fifties. I know, land to sure. I know. You can't help but get attached to them. That's all. I know where you're coming from, sir. I've been there, Dean, since they started five years ago. It's going to be hard to say goodbye to them after all this time. Well, they are good kids, land to sure. They'll go far in life. Sir, I'm sure you can appreciate how fast these last five years have gone. One moment it's their first day in 2008, the next it's their graduation in 2013. It's gone by so quick. This has taken for bloody ever. Could five years drag on anymore? I don't know about you guys, but I've had fun here. It's been a lot of fun. Amazing to think we have our graduation this afternoon. Haven't we had some great times here at school? Yeah, remember when Austin Asia and his sister had that enormous spat that nearly caused Mr. Kualid to resign? Oh yeah, I remember that. It was on a dark and stormy night. Austy, you promised that if you won those jelly beans you'd give some to me. Hand them over. Fine, you can have the black ones. I hate the black ones. I don't want the black ones. You can have those. I want all the colorful ones. Well I'm not going to give you the colorful ones. They my jelly beans and that means I can give out what ones I like. You're such a wanker Austy. Fine. I'm not going to give you any now. Get out of my room. We share this room, you idiot. Oh that's right. And shit went down super epic Trotsky style. I remember that. I remember that you had the same Alasha about it. When you came back you were as white as a sheet. I must say I am surprised Austin Asia that you could be involved in this sort of thing. Sir, it's my crazy sister. She's doing all this. I don't think she got all your friends together to trash her locker, throw her bag up the elm tree out back and write her cell phone number on the dumpster with the words, it's got to be free and easy, underneath. She's got her own posse raised. That's why when everyone walked into the English classroom there were the words Austinasia likes big fat penis on the board. Is this so? Well yeah, I do like big fat penis, but that's beside the point. That's not what I meant but we'll move along. How did this all start? I wouldn't share my jelly beans with her. Jelly beans? Don't you realize that sharing is caring? Sharing is communist and we've already had that episode. Well, Austin Asia, there isn't much I can do but tell you to settle your differences outside of school. Heaven knows if Mr. Murrayfield will ever get the smell out of his car, and what you did to the brickwork outside Miss Slinky's classroom is a good thousand simoleons worth of damage. This will have to go on your record. Would you like a jelly bean, sir? Oh, why, that's very kind of you, Austin Asia. 
consider the matter dealt with. Have a nice day. Was that before or after we had all those new students arrive from the academy? Oh yeah, the Wiki Academy for Numpty Children. Bunch of new fags if I remember. I beg your pardon? Present company accepted of course dear. You came here from the academy didn't you A1? I did. It's how Charlie and I met. From the most hated student in the school to the most popular. Not bad for a Wiki fag. Helped of course by the fact you married me. Don't make fun of me Charlie, I woke up this morning with something horrible. What? You. So I hear the wankers are coming. You mean those students from the academy? Are any of them brave enough to come here? I doubt it. Melosh has had a gallows put up out back for any of them. You know how he loves the academy. Well they love him too. They banned him from setting foot in their school for 5000 years remember? Hey up. Here comes one of the newbies now. Excuse me, I'm new here. You're one of the academy students? Yes actually. Could you tell me where I get my timetable? Yeah no worries. You go down the side of the building over there, round the back of the building, up that side over there and straight out those front gates. In other words, rack off. Why? What's wrong? You're an academy student. We don't want your kind here. Fine. I can see you two aren't going to be any help whatsoever. Stupid new fag. Pretty though. Better than that klepto Octavia. Hi, I'm A1. I'm new here. You're one of those academy sluts, right? I know your type. I bet you were part of that massive gangbang at the sock hop last November. You wikia girls are all the same. And when you can't get enough cock you go carpet munching. Stop polluting my atmosphere and go whore it up somewhere else. Hey up, just a warning chair. I ain't no fan you wiki a lot. Best keep your head down lest I laser ye. Why does everybody hate me just because I used to go to the academy? I hate this school. I hate my life. Hey. Ah, hi. I'm St. Charlie. Oh don't tell me someone else is going to insult me. Just leave me alone. I wasn't going to insult you. I just wanted to apologize for the way everyone's been treating you today. They not bad people. Are you serious? A girl in the cafeteria threw her yogurt at me. Three people tried to push me out a window, and one of the teachers made me wear a dunce cap simply for answering the attendance roll. Your school is shit. I'm sorry your first day here has been rough, but it's just that we have a really intense rivalry with your old school. Surely it was the same there. Nobody goes to the academy unless they really have to. Everyone goes to micro high if they can. I knew I was going to be the center of attention for all the wrong reasons, but why do you guys have to make it so hard? Tell you what. You stick with me tomorrow and we'll sort this out. Would you really do that for a wiki or student? Sure. As our school motto says, Kajito Ergo Doleo. What does that mean? I think, therefore I'm depressed. I don't know if this will work. Just trust me on this. Hey Saint Charlie. What are you talking to her for? Get yourself some fresh micro snatch, not that wiki stuff that smells like a fishing trawler. I do wish you'd lay off her Sirocco. You realize she has a power pole right outside her house. Oh. I see. Well then, we're cooking with gas now. Tell her I take it all back and she is welcome to accompany me next time I go tram spotting. What did I tell you? Well I'll be. It worked. Now for Wyden. Saint Charlie? What the hell is this? Something the matter, Ivan? Not with you, but I heard your friend there farted in biology and it smelled like her dad's dick. Why are you with her anyway? I thought you had class, style, swag. I thought you might be interested to learn that A1 here has white parents and is still very much a pure girl. White parents and still got a V-plates. Well then A1, you and I need to hang out. Meet me in the cafeteria at lunch and we gossip. Then there's the guy with the funny accent. Renasia? Piece of cake. Renasia, A1 does science. Marry me. I your married wrong bloke A1. How disgustingly romantic. I think I'm gonna hurl. I'm sorry I was such a bitch to you A1. You're a great girl and I'm so happy to call you my bestie now. Don't worry about it. After all, I bailed you out when Yablico lost his shit. Oh yeah? Okay you lot. I have your test results here. I will hand them out in a moment but first I'd just like to congratulate Yabloko on his third perfect 100. 
Thank you, sir. I aim high. Anyone else find it fishy that your bloco keeps getting perfect hundreds in his tests? Ain't surprising, governor. He were cheating off everyone round him. He was cheating off me? But I was cheating off of him. How the hell did he get 100? That settles it then. Let's write a joint 300-page dossier which uses an insane amount of words to call him a poop head. Yeah, bloco. I stayed up past my bedtime last night to type up this enormous book on why you're a lying cheating scumbag that likes to deceive and trick everyone and who might still bang given half a chance. Surely you can't be serious. Don't worry folks, I'm not making a stupid joke. Come on, that's why I said it. It's time you stepped down your bloco. Hey, don't pick on him, he's swagging. How can you stand up for him? He's manipulating all of you. He's our mate and you're not going to attack him. Shut up and sit down, Zealandia. And once you've done that, sit up and shut down. Can't we settle this diplomatically and without starting a witch hunt? Hey, this says my dick is only 7 inches long. It's 12, you retarded bitch. That's not a penis. That's a foot. Someone had to say it, I suppose. Nobody spread slander about my penis. Nobody. Whatever's been spread on your penis, I gladly clean up for you. You've made me mad, Wyvern. You won't like me when I'm mad. What the hell just happened? Shit went down, I think. That was a crazy day, that. Did you ever end up getting with Yablico? I know you really wanted him badly. Nope. She got with me. What? But she wanted Yablico. Not some pasty ginger in a tie that thinks it's October 1958. I had to think about it after he left for Zimbabwe. I liked Sirocco more. He's white. For me, that is. We're really a screwed up bunch of people. And that's just when we're not up to our knee balls in finest South London weed. I just can't believe we've come this far. It's been great though. Michael High's a fantastic place. I'll miss you all so much when we all go our separate ways. What are the happy couple going to do? We'll be going to university. We've been talking about starting a family, but we haven't decided whether to go for it or not. Go for it. You'd make wonderful parents. Screwed up, but wonderful nonetheless. Thanks Sirocco, you're a true bro. What about yourself? I'll be off to university too. I've won a scholarship with the House of Doogie to study 1950s design music television and hamburgers. It's going to be great. It's Sweden for me. I've been picked up by I care for their training program up there. I'm finally moving up in the world. I'm university as well. Sirocco and I have found a nice little apartment for ourselves. He'll study and I'll stay at home and keep house like a good woman. Erythes yo and I going to do science cause hell yeah. We'll be looking in ways to boost agricultural yields by using steam technology. So you'll grow weed by blasting it with steam. Nice. Sounds way less fun than my apprenticeship in a toy factory. I don't know what I'll do. I'll just take it as it comes I suppose. Live life as I always have. NA1, I'm proud to call you my sister-in-law. I know we didn't always see eye to eye, but it's time to grow up now and be adults. Which is why after graduation we're all coming round to my place for a bouncy castle and food fight. You'll never change Ellie. You'll do well, I'm sure. Before the two girls in St. Charlie's life go down on each other, it's time we headed off to graduation. It all kicks off in an hour, and then we're free. Forever. Poor Malasha and Malanda sure. They got really close to us. Both of them are mental but I'll miss them dearly. Wait till they see what we got them. A potted cactus for old man Malasha and a tea cozy for Landersha. They'll be fine and so will we. We just have to make sure we all come back to see the two of them from time to time and say hi. The class of 2013. We're gonna rock. Nimkavia's right. Time to step out into the big wide world and make names for ourselves. Let's go guys, it's time to graduate from Micro High School. Good evening staff students and parents for the last time at Micro High School. Today we come together to celebrate the union of these two people in the sight of God. Sir, St. Charlie and Day One got married last season. Oh you're so right Landashir. My mistake. 
We were here to remember our dear friend and family member. Sir, I don't recall the director killing anyone off in this show. Although you did lock doors how bad in the dungeon. How old is that bloody building if we have a dungeon? You commissioned it, sir. And so I did. 1962 was a good year for building stuff underground. If you wouldn't mind, sir, we have a graduation to get on with. Oh, is that what we were doing? Yes, sir. The class of 2013? Bunch of damn fools. But they were our damn fools. And today we celebrate our damn fools of the class of 2013. You have had the finest education here at Micro High School, and I am proud to have been your principal through the last five or so years. You'll all go far in life. Some of you may become politicians, others military leaders, still others porn stars. I taught one of those ones. Not a brain cell in her body but she could twerk like there was no tomorrow, but that is beside the point. You have all done this school immensely proud and you shall always carry with you the esteem of being the graduates of Micro High School for 2013. Be sure to come back and see Landisher at some stage because, and even he doesn't know this, but I'm retiring. I've been here since 1959 and it's time to pack up my things. Landisher, you're the new principal. Do well and don't scuff the floor. Sir, I don't know what to say. Say you love me. Work mode, sir. And so it is. You're the perfect replacement for me. Better than that a rouge the chap who resigned this morning for not actually being a real person. Strange things will happen in your tenure landisher. Make sure you take care of them. I will, sir. And that goes for all of you students, too. Life will not be easy, but if you grit your teeth and push on, you'll reap the rewards. Before I close and let our graduates get on their way, I would like to thank all of you. Yes, all of you. Without your support we wouldn't have got to this point today. Thank you all so very much. I shall leave the last word to our new principal, Mr. Penguin Van Landisher. You're all weird. So now what's Sirocco? We're free. No more school ever again. I wouldn't quite say free St. Charlie. We both got university next year. You're a married man and a one's talking kids. You're right. This calls for a piss up. 50s style. You know what Sirocco? I just realized something. And what would that be? We've managed to go the whole series without anyone saying the word fuck. Well we did. Did I just say that? Fuck. Do you kiss your wife with that mouth? She usually kisses me somewhere else. I bet she does Saint Charlie. I bet she does. So what now? Now it is time to end this damn show because the director's just prolonging the inevitable. Is this really a Dan Sirocco? I'm afraid it is. It's been fun. It has. Yes. Oh come on damn it director. Just end the damn thing. Light on the peace